Okay. I wasn't sure where it came from. I just heard the motion, the second. Okay, motion by Mr. Lawrence, second by Mrs. Mayo. Board questions or discussion? So this would mean the motion includes the um, study as well as exhibit A and B and recommendation one. Yes, as near as I can ascertain. <laughs> Correct me if I'm As was my intent. So. Okay. Any other questions, comments? And, well, I, I just, uh, for me, going through this process and having gone through the uh, YV process, what I looked at, um, I want to commend Mr. Cody and Mr. Stark for, for this process, um, which I had more exposure to. Um, I went to a meeting, which I believe was in September, with uh, Mr. Stark and Mr. McMorris, uh, where they had invited members of the community, uh, received a, a lot of input, and then the, uh, also attended the meeting on October 21st. So I think that um, in uh, what Mr. McMorris said at that meeting was that um, his commitment to being a, a good neighbor. One of the things when I look back at the YV uh, process is that uh, I, I voted against the uh, what ended up being proposed not because I didn't support the project, but because we had four amendments and I thought those should have been voted on separately and, and not in their entirety. And I, I have a concern that, um, and, and I hope this board addresses it, that we've uh, saddled YV with um, unfunded mandates. And so I think we'll, we'll need to, as a board, at least take a look at that. And in, in this instance, uh, to Ms. Oak's point about the board having the ability to change these, and I think we should assess it after uh, the first year and make any accommodations based on what actually comes up and uh, shape it in, in that manner. Yeah, I would say I think the thing we learned going through, at least from my perspective, going through the Ignatio Valley process was the importance of listening to the community and including their input and responsiveness. I think one of the issues we ran into at Ignatio Valley was we felt like probably some of this was happening after the fact. The horse was already out of the barn and then we were trying to go back in and corral the horse. In this case, I think, secondly, that Ignatio Valley came up with an EIR report because the parameters of the project were changed and this project comes without that um, piece to it as well. I think that if we put something in place, it's our responsibility to make sure that we um, are open to reflect and review how things are going and check in with the community. And that's what I think I learned mostly from Ignatio Valley High is the importance of our ability to be flexible, to modify when things aren't working and to pay attention to all the sides in this matter. So that's a really important piece to me, that piece about listening to the community and being responsive and being able to modify. So. This is a question, and maybe I should make it in the form of an amended motion, and you have to help me with this. Okay. Um, we can help so you. So should, in, in reviewing the motion here, that it's recommendation one that has been moved and seconded, can we add to it that a report will come back within one year to the, to the board on the conditions of use, or is that an amended motion? A formally say that that's what we want. You can add that as an amendment to the motion, or we can add we can add that in separately as well and, and put that in as a, an extra caveat. And Ms. Williams can jump in. She's craning her neck at me, so I always turn to that when, when somebody's craning their neck at me. I say we're in some trouble. Yes. We can accept that as staff direction. Yes, you can. And, or we can fold it in and make it formalized, pardon me? Yes, that's what I'm suggesting, is we can do it as a separate motion, and rather than, you know, Mr. Lawrence had we butted into that in the YVHS one, and that avoids the problem. Does that work? You can do a separate motion to have that. And it is staff direction, but I think the idea is I'm hearing to formalize it so that there's some record somewhere, correct? Yeah. Okay. So... Would you like to do it that way? Then we'll just do a separate motion after we vote on this, unless you're amending this motion. But otherwise, we'll do it separately. Okay? Okay? Any other comments or questions? 
All right, then we will go to the vote at this time. And that carries five zero zero. So now I would ask um, Mrs. Oaks if you'd like to make that motion. Okay, I'd like to uh, make a second motion. I move that the conditions of use and the exhibit uh, with resolution or uh, number one be brought back to the board um, next in November of 2014 with a report on um, all of the items and the conditions of use and how um, it has affected.